Good morning friends i hope everyone is doing well i request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding if you really like my videos please press the like button share the videos with your friends and subscribe to my channel in this video i want to discuss about linear bounded automata already we have discussed that what is a regular grammar okay regular grammar generates the regular language and can be modeled by using a finite automata whether it is a dfa nfa epsilon nfa all these things we have discussed and we have a context free grammar generates the context free language can be modeled by using a push down automata okay then we have context sensitive grammar which is useful for us to generate context sensitive language and we can modeled by using a linear bounded automata we have unrestricted grammar can be modeled use for generating the recursive enumerable language we have unrestricted grammar we can generate recursive enumerable language can be modeled using turing machine we have already discussed what is a regular grammar regular language and how to model using a finite automata we have already discussed about a context free grammar and how to context gen free language can be generated and push down automata even we have discussed deterministic push down automata non deterministic push down and we, even we have discussed what is unrestricted grammar recursive enumerable language and turing machine okay we have discussed so many examples on the turing machine now if you see that linear bounded automata will comes in between the push down automata and turing machine what i can say linear bounded automata is more powerful than push down automata push linear bounded automata is more powerful than push down automata however turing machine is more powerful than linear bounded automata so i can write it like this okay turing machine is more powerful than linear bounded automata and linear bounded automata is more powerful than finite automata and linear bounded automata is more powerful than push down automata push down automata is more powerful than finite automata now what i can say the linear bounded automata will come in between the turing machines and the push down automata so now we will discuss how can we represent a linear bounded automata okay so i hope you have understood that linear bounded automata is more powerful than the push down automata but however it is less powerful than the turing machine okay so now how can we represent a linear bounded automata the linear bounded automata can be represented using seven tuples what are they we will discuss we can represent a linear bounded automata by using seven tuples we have q and we have sigma we have q not we have f okay we have tau okay we have left marker right marker let it make it as markers m okay m okay markers for these things and we have a transition function delta so how many are the Three, six, seven tuples are there. Some people will represent using eight tuples. They will write a left marker separately, right marker separately. Just I am representing a M is for the markers. Okay. Now Q is represents the set of states. Q represents the set of states in the linear bounded automata, and sigma represents the input alphabets. What are the input alphabets? Are there? We will represent using the sigma, and we have Q naught, which is the initial state. Only one initial state is allowed. Okay. However, we can have more than one final state. So that's why F denotes the set of final states. And we have tau represents the tape symbols. What are the symbols are allowed on the tape? will be denoted by the tau so tape symbols consists of input alphabets and also the markers 
Now the markers consist of two things. One is the left marker and right marker. Okay, what is the use of these markers we will discuss. And we have a transition function. We have transition function. Okay. How to represent a transition function? Same as how we represented a transition function in the Turing machine. Q on tau because we are in a some state and we are looking at the tape alphabet. We will be going to some state and we will modify or we will keep it as it is the tau symbol. Either we can go left or we can go to the right. Okay. So this is the transition function of a linear bounded automata. So we can represent using seven tuples. We will have set of states, input alphabets, initial state, set of final states, tape symbols. We have left marker and right marker. We have a transition function which is in the form of Q on tau means tape alphabet or tape symbols. You will go to some state and either you can modify the tape symbol or you will keep as it is. But however, you can go left or right one unit at a time. Okay. This L represents left or R represents the right. Okay. So now I want to discuss. You want you should know by this time you would have confused. Sir, what is the difference between because the same way you have represented the Turing machines also. In place of M, you just kept the B and you said it is a blank space. Whereas here you are representing as M consists of left marker and right marker. What is the difference between the Turing machine and the linear bounded automata? We will discuss now. Okay, so that you can understand the concept of the linear bounded automata very easily. Now, if you see that in Turing machine also we have a finite control unit. Let me write it as FC. We have a finite control unit and we have a tape. Okay, the tape will be useful for us. We will keep store the blank spaces and left blank spaces will be there, right blank spaces will be there. In between the input alphabets will be there. Means what are the string you want to take, you will take it and then you will have, you will modify the A to some tape alphabet or B to some other tape symbol like that you will write it. Now if you see that in Turing machine we will have set of blanks in the left hand side. Let's take that I want to write A, A, B, B. This is my string then in the right hand side also you will have the blanks so you you will be in some state q naught you will look at the alphabet a you will go to some state and you will modify let's say that i want to modify the a to x i will modify it and i will go to the right all the a's i will modify is x all the b's i will modify it as y whenever i get the blank all these things left right movement everything is there now what is the difference between the even the left right move is there in the linear bounded automata then what is the difference the only difference is that in Turing machine you have more than a finite amount means you can have a blank spaces infinite number of blank spaces will be there and you will have a string whereas it comes to the linear bounded automata you have a restriction on the tape the what is the restriction is that you will have a left marker, only one left marker and let's say that A, A, B, B I want to represent, okay. This is the right marker. Let's take that, okay. Now if you see that we have a left marker denotes that the starting of the string is starting after the left marker, the string is starting and right marker is useful for us to know that the end of the string. But whereas in the Turing machines we have set of blank spaces are there. Even we have modified those blank spaces to generate some output. Whereas here if you see that we cannot use more space as it is only finite amount of space is given. Only finite amount of space for storing the string and we have a left marker and right marker. So we cannot move further than the right marker to the right hand side and we cannot move further to the left marker in the left hand side but remaining con concept is as it is. So I hope you have understood what is the restriction they kept on the Turing machine tape to make it as a linear bounded automata. That's why we will say that linear bounded automata is not more powerful or not have same powerful. It is less powerful than the Turing machine. However, it has more powerful than the 
push down automator okay so i hope you have understood the introduction on the linear bounded automator and how to represent a linear bounded automator or formal definition of a linear bounded automator if you still have any doubts feel free to ask it in the comment section i will clear your doubts in less than 24 hours thank you so much for watching my video have a nice day